Alright, what's up y'all? Today we are here on the uh, Pokemon Showdown Team Builder thingy for uh, for our week one battle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the team and then we'll get right into the battle. So it'll be nice and fun. Um, we're actually going to start over here. We have uh, our buddy Zika Swampert. Seismitoad. I didn't... I don't have a good nickname for this one guys. I, I just... I don't. So Zika Swampert is going to be his name. Basically, I wanted something that could uh, get up rocks, and I wanted something that could take hits from uh, Metagross, Hitmontop if necessary, Gastrodon, Rhydon, all those, all the, both of the Dons, you know. But um, basically, I predicted him to bring uh, Mega Alakazam, Garchomp, Lucario, Metagross, Hitmontop, and Gastrodon. Those six mons really just fucked a dent right into my team. So I figured that'd probably be what he was doing. I don't know how experienced this guy is or what, it, what the fuck he's doing. But, um, ended up not being the case. <laughs> I'll just tell you now. But basically, I needed someone to be able to switch in on mostly Metagross and get up rocks. And I had to have Ice Punch because I didn't want to let Dragon Knight set up a free Dragon Dance. I couldn't do that. I didn't think he was going to bring it, but just in case he did, I couldn't, you know, let him. Same with Garchomp, whether it be a Swords Dance or a, uh, whatever Garchomp does. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, then we have Usain T-Bolt, Mega Manetric, who doesn't do too terribly great versus his team. If he brings, like, Fraligator, it's kind of nice to have Intimidate and stuff, and then he's good for Aerodactyl, I guess, but... Other than that, he didn't really have very much use. I wanted Hidden Power Ice so those dragons wouldn't fucking sweep me. And then Flamethrower for Lucario slash Metagross, Full Switch Thunderbolt, you know, all that shit. Um, basically, I had him to outspeed the fastest thing on his team with 396 speed. I think he had a... Uh, was it Air... It was either... I think it's Aerodactyl. I think I have enough speed to outspeed Aerodactyl. And then, uh... Yeah. Then we have our buddy Princess, who just like, looking at his team, he does not have a good fucking Sylveon on switch in. Like, it just doesn't exist. Hyper Voice will fuck some shit up. I and mean, actually, with that, with Modest and Pixie Plate, it Oko's Mega Alakazam. So that's cool. And, uh, you know, Shadow Ball for Metagross. Um, yeah, he just really doesn't have much that wants to take a big ol' fat ass Hyper Voice. Then we have probably, probably the MVP of the uh, of the thing, of the match. Um, Choice Scarf, fucking Infernape, just puts in so much work versus this dude's team. Outspeeds Mega Alakazam and either kills with Flare Blitz or two hit KOs with uh, U-Turn, which obviously you'd have to switch out, but you know. And then uh, Close Combat just fucks the entirety of his team along with Flare Blitz. And I threw a uh, Hidden Power Ice on there, just in case, uh, you know, just in case he brought, like, I don't know, like, Scarf Chomp or something, and it was outraging on me, Sylveon died somehow. But yeah, this guy is supposed to be kind of my failsafe, probably gonna lead with him. You know, he's just he's just a real good guy, he, he wants to help as much as he can. Then we have Weavile, Envy, who basically shits on this guy's team, too. This dude does not like ice, he, he hates it. And his things that do like ice, his two steel types, don't take knockoff or low kick. It's pretty, pretty cool. And then we have kind of the the failsafe of the team: uh, Focus Sash, Magic Guard, Sigilyph. Oh shit, button. Because basically, I just had this underwhelming fear that he was just gonna set up like three Swords Dances with Lucario and then just sweep my entire team with E Speed. And I couldn't let that happen. So just in case, I brought this guy. With a, he has a bunch of times four super effective weaknesses on his team. So I brought something to exploit most of them. Um, I think if I'm looking at it correctly, he has a super effective coverage move for every Pokemon on the team except for Mega Alakazam. So yeah, fucking Sigilyph could save our asses here. But that is going to be the Tim 
Tim builds it. That's going to be the Tim Builder aspect of it. I said it wrong the second time, too. I was going to just keep going, but I, I'm not going to let myself do that. I'm getting rusty. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the Team Builder. So here in one second, we will jump into the battle. All right, so here we are at the uh, the battle replay screen. Uh, this did already happen, obviously. Uh, I want to do live comp sometimes, but I don't know how these guys battle. I'm not trying to have like an hour-long fucking showdown battle. That just doesn't seem fun to watch or to record or do anything. You know, I figure we keep it nice and uh, nice and replay. But uh, I'm on this side, obviously. I hate it when it switches you around, but oh well. So as you can see. He did not bring what I thought he was going to bring. No Garchomp, which is awesome. Uh, Gastrodon plus Dragonite means that the hidden power on my uh, on my Manetric is it can only it only hits uh what's it called? It only hits Dragonite. Originally I had hidden power Grass, but I was like fuck man these dragons. <laughs> so uh, he brought Rhydon, which I thought was kind of funny seeing as how like. Half my team beats right on, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this man's plan was. So we're just gonna jump right into it. I lead off with uh, Infernape, I think, and he leads off with Lucario. Yeah. So first off, he's already fucked. I get a kill here, like straight up. And then he switches in his fucking Alakazam, which one-shotted everything on my team, and he just lets it die. He doesn't know I'm Scarf, granted, but I could have just U-turned there. Uh, but close combat just picks up a two at KO, which that was fucking stupid. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, so then he goes into right on. So I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna get up stealth rocks. I want to do the same, but he goes right for the earthquake. Like I had an earthquake immunity. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing. So I get up my rocks as he switches to Dragonite, and then here I'm thinking immediately, this fucking guy has weakness policy. He has fucking weakness policy. And he's gonna run through my dick because I really want to ice punch. But I don't ice punch him. I go for the toxic, making the the safe move in my head. But that ends up kind of just like fucking me because he was lumber. <laughs> so I was like, well, shit. But uh, he just go ahead and goes right for the outrage. Which again, I have a Sylveon, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Like, come on. So I ice punch. Multi scale doesn't do shit. But at least I got some damage off. And then I can go right into my fairy type, which is immune to dragon types, right? And then he gets confused. So, here I'm thinking he might have Iron Tail. And he might want to risk the confusion, because if he takes out my Sylveon with an Iron Tail, he can kind of just run through the rest of my team, because he doesn't know that I'm focused Sash Sigilyph. Sigilyph, whatever it is. So I just went for Hyper Voice. I decided, fuck it. He goes into Metagross, which, does, which takes 22. That's not bad. And then I thought with how obvious my switch to Seismitoad was, he was just going to, uh, I don't know, like maybe Earthquake or like set up his own Stealth Rocks or something. Maybe like Hammer Arm. So yeah, I overpredicted a little bit there. And he just kills the fuck out of my little pink princess buddy. And then uh, we go right back out to our Scarf and Fernape and get another kill because Metagross does not like fire. Oh, buddy. And then he wants to go to Gastrodon, which is, that's good. You know, I can't, I'm not staying in on that. So I just suck off uh, old Zika Swampert here. I was hoping it would have been cool if he went for, like, Scald or something and, like, gave me my health and then let, let me fucking toxic his Gastrodon. But I guess he made one good play. So that's good on him, you know. Then I go to Envy, figuring I don't really need this guy very much. I just need to knock off the leftovers so that I can kill with Energy Ball. He goes Lucario here. I have defensive investment on my Weavile to where I can live a plus one E speed. Low kick, he's done. I guess he probably tried to set up a Swords Dance or some shit, I don't know. But, and he goes to Ride On. Again, I have defensive investment. I can live an Earthquake. And Stone Edge is Stone Edge. You, you're not going to hit that. He hits it though. But I knocked off a Seaviolite. And if you look at his last three remaining Pokemon, they all have times four weaknesses. That my buddy Sigilyph here, Sigilyph, Sigil, 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 Sigil has uh, coverage moves for. So he just cleans right up. Can't hide from him. Look at him. What the fuck even are you? Like, golly. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, picks up the last three kills with Infernape, I believe, taking the, uh, the first three. 
something like that. Oh, we've all got one on Lucario too, but it was a pretty cool game. Um, I enjoyed it. I had fun, and uh, you know we had the whole fucking little group in here. Well, some of them were in there, but <laughs> it was funny. The very first thing he does is like look up Dado and Sylvia, and like, oh shit, what the fuck is a fairy type? So yeah, I guess that explains his outrage play or something. I don't know. But yeah, uh, we are 1-0, and, and next week we go against, uh, I forget his name, but he has a mega slow bro, and he's scary. Oh, guys, he's so scary. So, uh, I will do a team builder, or no? No, I probably won't do a team builder. I'll probably just do it at the beginning. You know, like, like we've been doing, but maybe, you never know. So, uh, with that, you guys take it easy, and I will see you next week for more battles. Peace. The fuck did I just say peaceful? I don't say peace. I don't do that. Bye.